Hello, hello everyone, welcome to QDesign. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to create the score setting. And there were so many questions about this series right here and I just want to show you um, a little bit, bit more detailed how the script works and which mis mistakes you can avoid. So let's start. Before I start, I just want to um, explain uh, the setting right, right here. So this is a kind of a simpler version of my 2D game I created for these tutorial series. If you want to know more about how to create the whole setting, please watch uh, the series right here. But I just wanted to explain how the counting or how the counter uh, starts or gets the information. So um, the game stuff starts with a simple screen tab. So uh, adds to and switch and then this is uh, just a pulse that starts the loop animation of my target. So this one right here in this case a star and it's this target in this example just goes from top to bottom so and then starts over and over again um, we need for for the counter the the x and y values because the x and y values wanna uh, make sure that it's equal to the x and y values of our emoji the emoji settings or um, animation starts with the turn right state of our head rotation and there's a animation in the x value so right here see it right here again unpack the x and y values for our counter information so and if the x and y value of our target and emoji is equal with a tolerance of in this case uh, 70 then this end gets two information, two um, pulses, and these leads to our counter. And then we need these counter information to scale up our score. So I just show you the animation. So make sure I simulate touch. Yep. Yeah. So start with this with the touch, and you see right now. Whoop. Let's send a pulse to it. We start. Now we want to score this pulse every time it hits. So it scales up from 0 to 1 to 2 and so on and so on. And we create in our face tracker a 3D text. So this is our score text. Boop. Uh, call this one score and the settings uh, duplicate this one copy and duplicate this is our number just in the text field uh, to zero just to make sure it looks fine And to have more control about these two objects, I create a null object and put these up right here. Perfect. And the settings, this is our uh, text material. You don't need to change this, just so you see it a little bit better. Flat. And I don't need the scale here. zero and zero. So that is fine for the example. And now again, we need to make sure that this text value counts the numbers. And for this, we create a script. And then the, this script you add um, a patch 
and it's an output patch. So go to to script, so plus sign and make sure you use this number. So this one right here and call this one score. Enter and create an output patch and connect it to our your counter. And we start the game and it's counting. Yeah. Boop. Nope. Missed it. Perfect. Restart the game and now we start with the script. Double click on the script and I opened my patch editor before and this I use the brackets. You can download it for free. Um, this is a free version. This is the script and we don't need this. We create our own one. So and we first start with the require of our scene. Follow the require of our patches. So we have access to our text object number and the patches where we find our output patch called score. And we create a promise dot all and followed by the round bracket and insert the square brackets and then search for the scene scene dot root dot find find first is our number and patches dot outputs dot get scalar score and then we create a function called results. Followed by curly brackets. Whoops. Yeah. Save this and I created an error right here. I just want to show it to you. So you see in our console um there is in our promise all a uh, problem so the most common mistakes um, i make is uh, are typos or wrong characters or just misspelling something and in this case um, i used the semicolon but in this case you use the comma to separate the scene root from the patch outputs. So just change it. And there's a second mistake I made. Save this. And there's the next one. And also in this case, I um, opened the function, but I didn't close it um, entirely. In this case, you see this one right here, but you need to make sure that you really get the whole function. And to make really sure it's uh, fine, just add the semicolon right here. Also, what I often do is uh, that I misspelled or uh, have a typo in this section right here, or 
um, often this one. This is a common mistake for mistake for me also because this is in my second language. Most of the times I don't see the um, spelling. So I clean this up, restart. And it's, it looks fine so far, but we now we need or now we create the function. So the function we asked for, you will have this two um, objects right here or the roots of the object. So this is on the position zero and this one is position one. And we create a variable called counter and this variable asks for results. So this here and in this case for the scene, so for the number the the 3d object add a semicolon and then we create a string or no score string and ask for the results one close this and now um, our counter dot text is equal to our score string copy this one dot to string so this save this Boop. and now you see um, the number um, inspector setting text has changed to this um, yellow highlighting so and there is the set in a script so it's now connected to our um, patch output score just restart it And now it's working. Meh. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to learn how to create a 2D game, please watch this playlist. Or if you want to know how to create a script, watch this playlist right here. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy the process. Bye bye.